Well, hello there, you scrub lords. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've made a just normal channel video. And uh, I wanted to go into a little bit as to why that is today. Uh, I also wanted to cover a little bit of what I've been up to over the last couple of months. Um, what the plans are for the near future. And, um, well, just how I'm feeling about the game as of late. So... Without further ado, let's get into it. So, a couple months ago, one of the biggest changes I've ever had in my life occurred, and uh, that is finally being able to attend four-year university. Uh, up until this point, I've been at a community college level. For you not uh, Americans out there, community college is sort of like an in-between school between your primary uh, required public schooling and your four-year university. It's sort of like a stepping stone school um, for people who don't have the credit to go straight to a university from high school, um, but who still want to be able to get the credit to go to a four-year university. So I've been in that sort of limbo area for the last few years, um, and I only just started my four-year university uh, tenure this semester. Um, for people who are wondering what I am studying, I am a history major. So I will be studying and hopefully writing about history in the coming years. Needless to say, anybody who's been to a four-year university will know that university tends to take up quite a bit of your time. And so it has for me, and it's no different for most people. And as a result, I've been, well... I, I went into this knowing that I was going to have to sacrifice something. Something was going to have to go. Or something was going to have to take a lower priority uh, than I would have liked. And unfortunately, that has been YouTube. Now, I realize that it, this has been an ongoing thing, or my absence from YouTube has been an ongoing thing for quite some time now. And part of that is down to... Well, a shift in interests and a shift in priorities. Uh, when the pandemic hit about a year ago, I basically lost my job. I was without employment. I was still technically employed, but I wasn't working any hours. And I just wasn't all that interested in doing YouTube at the time. And so... I got the great idea, why don't I start streaming a lot more often? And so I did. And that's what I've been continuing to do for the last year and a half or so. And that has proven to be a far more stable source of income and a more, how should I put it, uh, effective use of my time in content creation than YouTube has ever been. Now, this does not mean that I have zero intentions of coming back to YouTube. I mean, as I, as I have here, I have a video. Um, however, my priorities have definitely shifted away from YouTube. Now, you'll notice uh, up until a couple months ago, I was putting out a review every month. And I had intended to maintain that as long as possible. And I knew that that was probably going to have to take a break. Uh, once the, uh, uh, once my school started. So, the reviews will come back. I plan to still continue to do those. However, they are taking a back seat for now while I am still in school, and that will continue until about early May. Once I am done with school in early May, I have the intention of going back to a re normal, regular streaming schedule and putting out a review every month. That's sort of my main goal right now. Um, for people who wish to catch me uh, streaming, I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays from 1 to 4 p.m. Uh, and I do this on both YouTube and Twitch. So you can catch me on either platform, and you will see that uh, my channel will go live. So make sure you guys hit the bell button uh, to make sure you don't miss any of those notifications. 
Um, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Now, going back to what I was saying earlier, uh, in recap, I have gone to started going to university. That's taking up a lot more of my time. Um, I have lost some interest in doing YouTube just because of how inconsistent it is. Um, and I much found that I much just prefer to do live streaming over my YouTube content. That doesn't mean I will not be doing unicorn reviews anymore. I will still be doing them periodically. Um, but they are definitely the priority when it comes to YouTube and not so much me doing my normal uh, chats about various other miscellaneous topics. Now, I know that many of you are wondering, what the hell do I think of War Thunder in today's world? Well, I've definitely gotten plenty of opportunities to play it. I mean, I, as I said, I live stream on the regular basis, and War Thunder is what I mostly play. So I do get quite a bit of playtime in. With regards to this most recent update, I'm actually pretty happy about it. I know that uh, some people have been having issues with this update, but the last couple of updates for War Thunder, um, Hot Tracks and whatever the heck the one before it was, uh, were not all that great. They, especially Hot Tracks, felt rushed just to get an update out for the holidays. It was not ready. It was not finished. Um, and it showed. That being said, um, the newest update, Ixma Strike, I, I, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. I still don't know how to, pr how to pronounce that. Uh, actually seems to pretty, actually seems to be a pretty solid update. I, I really enjoy the heck out of it. Um, the new South African vehicles are fun, but they don't feel overpowered. Um, they feel like they add, they add something really, really significantly cool to the game. Um, and they definitely flush out the British tech tree to the point where I would call the British tech tree a main tech tree. Um, I wouldn't call them a minor nation's uh, tree like I would previously. Uh, instead of the big three, I think we're talking big four here now. Um, and if you don't know what I mean by that, then don't worry about it. As far as the other minor additions, uh, well, they've been they've been pretty fun to say the very minimum. The uh, the M3A3 Bradley that you see gameplay of here is a fantastically fun vehicle. Top attack missiles are quite possibly my favorite thing in the game right now. Um, they just they add so much to making these IFVs so much deadlier, but also just fun to play with. Uh, it gives you a capability that you just don't have with anything else, and that's really fun to, to screw around with. So, having the having the Toe 2Bs and the Bradley, very much a, a one of my favorite parts of this patch. Uh, but e even vehicles such as the uh, Cossier is an immensely it's an immensely fun vehicle. Uh, very very interesting. It's uh, I know that some people were getting their knickers in a twist about whether or not it should end up in the German or the French tech trees, and it ultimately ended up in both, which is cool. I mean, I don't have any problem with either with either or. Um, I thought people were getting way too riled up about it, but overall, I mean, what's to say? You got Gen two thermal sights. You've got a four second auto loading reload. You've got APFSDS. You got heat. You got smoke. Uh, it's a great over overall all-around vehicle so much fun to play so much fun to uh to to take it through its paces um yeah it's just it, great stuff all around for ground forces when it comes to war thunder uh, something that i was also surprised to me was that air forces um were also pretty fun for me this update th that's weird for me especially because i haven't really played air rb in any shape or form for a good couple of years now um, I just, I don't find Air RB to be all that engaging, but the SC-17 M2 has piqued my interest in a way that I didn't uh, suspect that it would. Um, I've also been playing a lot of top tier, which is odd for me. I just, I almost never play uh, top tier ground forces just because I, I didn't think it was all that fun. Um, but the addition of the Leopard 2 PL, which uh, whether or not you agree with is a different matter entirely, but I find that the Leopard 2PL to be a fantastic overall vehicle. Uh, it's decently powerful. It's got an HEVT round for use against helicopters, although I have yet to get a helicopter kill with it. Um, 
It's got decent ammo, it's got good thermals, it's a solid all-around vehicle. Now, however many people are going to actually be able to use it effectively at top tier, that's a different matter entirely, but um, if you can put it in an appropriate situation where you're hold down and you are uh, essentially fighting and not trying to fight enemies head on, Leopard 2 PL is going to be just as great as the next vehicle. So, those are pretty much my thoughts on this update. Great overall update, a lot of fun. I'm just grinding around and playing various vehicles here and there. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the current state of War Thunder. I, I know that it's, again, far, far from perfect. But I've been having fun. And at the end of the day, isn't that what we're all here for? So that's going to wrap this, uh, this 11 minute update up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I realized that this was kind of rambling and I didn't really have much of a script for this, but hey, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you really enjoy my voice or really enjoy my content, please subscribe uh, and hit the, hit the notification bell down below. And uh, without further ado, I will see you next time, likely on the next Unicorn Review, which look out for that sometime in uh, mid to late May. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my Twitch streams and my uh, YouTube streams on the regular, and I will see you guys in the next one.